China's new 10,000-ton guided missile destroyer enters the water at Shanghai's Jiangnan shipyard during a launching ceremony on the morning of June 28, 2017. As China's new domestically produced destroyer, the multi-role destroyer is designed for air defense, anti-missile, anti-ship and anti-submarine warfare. It is equipped with last Eden's newest Chinese weapon systems. The state-run Global Times newspaper said the ship was believed to be the first Type 055 destroyer which is considered to be a successor class to the smaller Type 052D guided missile destroyers. The Type 055 destroyer, NATO code name, Renhai, is a class of guided missile destroyers being constructed for the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy Surface Force. The class features a stealth design, including a small radar cross-section and low noise, infrared and electromagnetic radiation, with advanced active phased array radar system and battle management system. The Type 055 destroyer will form China's anti-missile system together with the 052D destroyer, serving as part of the so-called Chinese Aegis. Observers have concluded the shore-based facility was for a new class of Chinese warship, displacing approximately 10,000 tons referred to as the Type 055. The US believed that construction could begin as early as 2016, and has tentatively classified it as a cruiser due to its size. Chinese sources claimed the first Type 055 was ordered from the Jiangnan shipyard in August 2014 with construction starting in December 2014. The second would be ordered from the Dolly and Shipbuilding Industry Company. Military analysts claimed the Type 055 would have two 64-cell VLS grids, one fore and one aft, carrying YJ-100 long-range anti-ship cruise missiles, anti-submarine missiles, and anti-aircraft missiles. The United States also believes the ship would carry YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missiles. The ship's vertical launch cells are the same model as those used on Type 052D, compatible with both hot and cold launch methods due to the concentric canister launcher concept potentially owing to Chinese deficiencies in anti-submarine warfare. The ship is expected to carry various undersea warfare systems such as towed array sonar, variable depth sonar, towed torpedo decoys, and active torpedo defenses.